Well, the tests with my dad last week were somewhat failures, but still a success. Hello, we are running our first tests on the Tormach. My dad's in town. He came to Colorado to visit and see this big machine work. Here's the facing program. You can see it just kind of comes in there and does a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Just see what we got going. So there we go. We're just about five thousandths over. Looks like it picked up that corner. Looks like we're put the mic back on it and see where we're at. We're four tenths over. That's our Y zero. Okay, we're all set up there. Perfect. Well, that's scary, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> When you're doing anything like this, you gotta pay your tuition. You either pay it in school or you pay it uh, right here on the job, in the garage, below the Carmen Ghia. Last week, my intern modeled this uh, as, a, as a radius instead of a diameter, so it was twice as big. I've since fired that intern. Test number two was this one, and I can't remember exactly what happened, but we started breaking tools somewhere right around there. Well, we weren't carefully quite enough here <laughs> and broke a tool. I think what happened is I cut this blank a little bit long, trying to think that that would be the smart thing to do. And that may not have been the smart thing to do. I do have an extra tool, so we're gonna try and uh, maybe bring this part into dimension uh, by cutting a little bit over here. And uh, I'll see if I can save this thing. a little bit too much that way. It came back and recut some of those edges a little bit off, so our chamfer will look a little bit goofy. Ah, there it goes. Okay. I was trying to use wood butcher mentality on on aluminum and it doesn't work that way. When you're a machinist, it's got to be accurate all the time and the, there's no fudge factor. So I've learned that. And uh, so anyway, this was, this was attempt two and we got pretty far, but we didn't get to where we wanted. I broke one too many tools and we couldn't finish. The other thing that we see all the time is guys like John Saunders and I love John Saunders. Don't, don't take this the wrong way. I love watching John Saunders, but when he, when he does his videos, he doesn't show the lead up <laughs> to the final part. And maybe he is that good, I don't know, but I have a feeling he fails just like the rest of us. But uh, this was me finally making a part. So I have a good one, except for that hole right there. I had a contour on the wrong side of the line, a contour path that was going on the wrong side of the line. Uh, it did some wonky um, adaptive stuff on the front face. So I just faced it off with the shear hog, and made it nice. And then the chamfers were a little bit too large. So I changed a few things. I think I've got it right now. I've got a couple blanks made up and these are cut to rough size with the circular saw. If you saw my video last week of how to cut aluminum plate, I'm gonna use the shear hog and I'm just gonna manually face this part off.
And you can see that one little corner didn't clean up, but we've got enough of a flat there and it does take away the edges. So just trying to conserve material a little bit. And that one's tight. There's my note, so I need a piece that's 327.8, and I got 327.2, which is fine. Uh, we're just a couple thou shy. I've got some extra thou of beef in there in the program. Mr. Mark, there we go. Whoops. where we're at here. Hmm, are we just a little undersized? Hmm, 496, so we're just a little undersized. So that's okay, we've got enough meat uh, in the program to make this work just perfectly. Now that we flipped our part again, we just have one more zero out to do, so kind of an XYZ here. And I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but yeah, whoa, did I land just right? Yes, I did. Sweet. We start our main operation here. This is an adaptive with a quarter inch tool. And hold on to your horses, here we go. I don't yet have my mist coolant system, so uh, my mist coolant system. <laughs> Okay, that's it for the quarter inch tool. Now to the eighth inch tool. It starts out with a boring routine and I noticed uh, when I was messing with the program that it, it was going way too fast the last time I ran this. So I slowed it down by half. That felt a lot better. Ah! Well, shoot, we broke another one. Uh, that's not the word I said when I broke, but uh, there's something wrong with that particular routine, so we're gonna slow it down to half speed, and that seems to help tremendously. This last little bit is all of our chamfering and it is the logo and some other text.
I used this hole here as my origin on the flip side because of the top heading and all that stuff, it would have been hard to get that reset. So I got a hole, I know exactly where that hole is. I'm just using that as my zero, zero. I re-zeroed uh, the Z on this side as well. So essentially when you get a zero from the center of a hole, you set it to one side on the X and you hit zero. You set it to the other side uh, of the X and you just divide by two and it puts you right in the middle. Same with the Y, bada boom, bada bing. All right, first stop on the back side is an adaptive clearing with a quarter inch tool. This should be our cleanup around the perimeter here. Go ahead and give it a little bit of that. marks right there along the edge I'm not sure I may not have gone deep enough on one side or the other because it, it definitely looks like a ridge or there might have been some spring back but I doubt it I think I just have something wrong now I guess the true test is will it work this is the idea uh, is you can stick one of your ER collets in there and it'll hold it and there's just enough of a clearance I think I put two thou clearance on there and that fits really nice slips just right in and out then the idea is you can just take your wrench and hiya <laughs> give it one of those or tighten it up and then these two will be the bolts that I use to put through my workbench toolbox just so you know we didn't cheat here's the 32 as well and it just snaps in like magic yeah baby I hope you enjoyed making this with me because I am having an absolute blast with this Tormach. This is amazing. I hate breaking the tools because they're expensive, but you know what? It's well worth it. I'm learning some stuff and eventually I'll have it all figured out. I doubt it, but this little tool is awesome. I don't know what we're gonna make next, but I hope you'll join me for it. Should be fun. Take it easy, guys.